Hey Shawnee Alliance family, this is Kayla. Uh, normally you'd see me in the ministry, kids ministry area with our infants through our preschoolers. Um, and today I just wanted to bring to you something that God has really put on my heart as we've been in this season of quarantine. Uh, my social media, I don't know about yours, parents, but my social media has blown up <laughs> with people that are just overwhelmed. And I get it. I feel that. Parenting is hard. Parenting is hard in general, but in quarantine, uh, there's a lot of new things that we are trying to get used to and refigure out. Uh, so I just wanted to bring to you something that I hope really encourages your heart. I'm going to be in Galatians 5. Uh, Galatians 5.1 starts and it says, For freedom, Christ has set us free. So even as you feel a little bit trapped inside your four walls of your home, I want you to remember that Christ, when you accept who he is, he has set you free. And that should mean something for how you operate as a parent. I'm also going to talk to you. I want to jump over to Galatians 5, 22. This should be super familiar if you've been in and around the church at all, because it is the fruit of the Spirit. And I want to pause right there and repeat that. The fruit of the Spirit, capital S, the Helper, the Holy Spirit. These are things that are manifested in our lives supernaturally because of who He is. Is. I look at this list of things and sometimes it can feel really overwhelming like oh I don't I don't I can't be that way I can't have enough patience I can't this is not who I am as a person and if you look at the beginning of 5 verse 16 it talks about our flesh, our humanity, our humanness. And when we operate in our humanness, if you're anything like me, my humanness is grumpy and angry and short-tempered and controlling, not these fruits of the Spirit. Uh, and in verse 22, it says, The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control, and against such things there is no law. And those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. Man, that's hard for me to look at as a parent because my natural response when my kids are losing their minds is to yell and to holler and to, everybody just sit down. <laughs> but when I look at what the Holy Spirit offers when he comes and he works in me as a person, he brings these things, love, joy, peace, patience, gentleness, and self-control. That hits home with me because generally I don't come off as a super gentle person. And so how I apply this in my own home with my children and the other children that I've been entrusted with is just to pray and make space for the Holy Spirit to come and work these things in my life. And that means in the middle of a moment when these kids are losing their minds and all I need to do is like, whoop, separate, take a breath. And often instead of responding, what I say is, Holy Spirit, I need your gentleness and I need your patience and I need your love to speak to these kids right now. And then I just wait a moment. And that's hard when you have people under the age of five because nobody waits well, but especially those people do not wait well. <laughs> But we just make space. We just make space for the Holy Spirit to come. And it does two things. One, it works in my heart. It allows space for him to come and reign. For me to submit and say, I could respond out of the flesh, but that is not who God has called me to as his child, to walk in his image, and as a parent to these children he has given me to steward. And the second thing it does is it shows my children, listen, you can respond naturally or when you believe in Jesus, you can invite the helper, the Holy Spirit. I don't know about you, but I can always use a helper. Always 100%. Thank you, Lord, for the helper. I can always use a helper. And my kids see that it's okay to ask this helper, the Holy Spirit, to come alongside of us and give us the power to do the things that aren't naturally our bent. They're not what we're hardwired to do and how we're hardwired to operate. And when I do things like that, it is so cool, guys, because I watch the Holy Spirit show up. And it's even more fun to point him out to my kids. 
hey, wow, I saw how you just chose to obey the first time I asked you to do something. Man, I know that that's not how you would normally respond. So thank you. Thank you for listening to the Holy Spirit when he pushed you in this direction of, hey, obey, have self-control when your parent asks you to do something. That is so beautiful to me to then point that out to my kids. So if I can offer you anything during this season of quarantine, it's just a beginning Take time, get into God's word because he has given us the tools to parent and lead well, even in the circumstances that you can't control right now. So open up your Bible, check out Galatians 5.22, read through those fruit of the spirit and then ask the Holy Spirit to come. And it's not just a one-time deal, guys. This is like a continuous, when we read about praying without ceasing, I always think of my kids because it's not just a one-time moment that I'm a decent parent. It is a continuous <laughs> submission of, Lord, help me. I cannot do this on my own. Come alongside me, please. Give me the words. Give me the heart. Give me the attitude to love these children that you have given me as you love them. So as you go through your day today, I hope that you find that encouraging and I hope that you can rest and ask the Holy Spirit to come alongside of you and then watch him move. It is truly a beautiful thing, you guys. I love you so much. I can't wait to talk to you again soon.